versus SS Austin. Yeah, not even just Grand Finals, but I believe it was either Winners, winners Finals as well. Yeah, Winners Finals as well. Uh, Slabs double eliminated Austin last time, and Austin has shown a little bit of a struggle against the sword characters. It comes with the nature of playing Ness. Uh, he was able, however, to overcome Stowe's Lucina already in bracket. And now he's going to see if he can make that run back against Slaps of Reality. Yeah, the, the big thing is that Slaps has been really good at keeping Ness in the air and reading those air dodges, those aerials. It's why he's already got him at 69% just 20 seconds into the game. Yeah, and not only that, but his spacing is so good. He's definitely using that big sword to his advantage. Earlier, he nared uh, Ness's shield, but faded away just enough to avoid the shield grab and caught him with his own down tilt. Just yeah. is able to convert off of Ness's... Uh, or off of Austin's impatience. Yep. Now Austin able to convert on that relatively failed recovery. Mm, yeah, didn't want to get up too early or else get caught by that PK fire. I'm trying to go for the meaty setup of that up air, but unfortunately didn't connect in oh. time. Austin going for that downer. We mm -hmm. know that's what he was going for. Or throw off stage. Let's see if he can get this edge guard. Oh, so very good. Using that as an attack, but when he realized it wouldn't hit, just pushing himself to the other side of the stage. But excuse me? Oh. <laughs> Both players going for the balloon right there, but Austin comes out the ultimate victor. You get free touch. No. It's getting real close to that uh -oh. death percent. Run out, just neutral air him. There we wow, go. Does it? Right. Really smart by Austin. Noticing that Slaps was popped up just a bit above the ledge, so we could go for that option. Yeah. Slaps is doing a lot of what worked last week, but I think Austin definitely went back to the Twitch VOD and checked it out. I mean, he looks like a lot of that same stuff that was working last week just isn't working quite as well as it did as it did. Uh, it's not working out quite as well now as it did last week for Slaps. Right. I mean, he's still not having the best of success edge guarding Slaps. He's done a really good job of using that Aether to make himself safe. Um, really unusual because normally it's such an exploitable move. Exactly. But Austin not finding the tools to deal with it. Ooh, forward air. It always gives me a little half second of a heart drop there when you get stuck underneath the stage. Going to recover onto the stage. Ooh, going for the spot dodge there real smart, but missed the punish. He definitely positioned himself to get the punish right there, uh, but wasn't quick enough on the reaction time to figure out which side of Slaps he was. Austin almost ready to punish that neutral getup, but Slaps just quick on that jab. And now he just needs a little bit of a setup. This could be it with a forward air. He went for the Ooh. tick throw setup, and that up air surely air. would have done it yeah. as well. But uh, he called the air dodge, but just unfortunately wasn't able to connect properly. Yeah, that back throw will seal it. Game one for Austin. Real close, we saw brilliant ideas coming out of both players. But in the end, Austin was the one who was able to just seal it. Uh, it was, he had a more consistent way to seal it, right? Yeah, exactly. All he needed to do was get the grab. Slaps gets the grab, and he's like, all right, if I guess right, I have this game. And he had a couple times where he did pretty much guess right, mm -hmm. just off slight timing because Ness's air dodge is quite good. Very difficult to punish properly. Um, but all Austin, Austin had to do was get the grab. He was able to put himself in the situation, and he took control. Yeah. Ooh, on this platform, that's kind of dangerous for Austin. Don't, don't really like seeing that. Fortunately, uh, Ike doesn't have too many vertical KO uh, combos. At least not at low percents. Yeah, yeah, not at these percents. We're not going to see him go for any crazy shenanigans. Um. Uh-oh. This could be, yeah. Great Aether and oh killing him my with it. Uh, Great Aether is actually his uh, final smash, but it looked like he might have executed one right there, <laughs> sealing the stock with that. And here's what you were saying when you said exploitable. Mm. You can just keep throwing those PK fires, and maybe he might have to mix up his recovery plan now. Mm. But I mean, we've seen him get chained into those PK fires before, oh, but boy. Austin still hasn't found the kill wow. with it. Here we go, just catching his neutral get up. Austin has been so suffocating on the ledge against Slaps in the second game. It's, 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 he's made it look impossible for Slaps to recover, honestly. As long Ooh. as Slap stays on stage, that doesn't matter too much. Ooh, they're holding in. PK fire. Ooh, and you called it right there. He was still on stage. Didn't want to risk going for another another one. Puppy. Shout outs to DJ Khalid. Mm. Oh my goodness, another PK fire. Wow. This edge guarding sequence is insane. Another one. We haven't seen another him. Another one. I mean, oh, oh my goodness. finally getting it back. We hadn't oh. seen Austin mixing in those thunders previously. It was just fire after fire, and if he missed one, oh well. Uh, this time, in between his fires, when he saw that Slaps was 
trying to recover differently. Ooh. That was so close. Yeah. Um, well, we saw him trying to recover differently, right? He would just kind of get away with it. Now Austin forcing him to go for that Aether, Ooh. forcing him into the situation where the PK fire is irrelevant. It's a good fast fall by Slaps, too, to get away from that PK Thunder. Now we're a grab away from death on Slaps' side, but really just a hit or two <laughs> away from putting this into a Game 3 situation. He's doing a great job of making his aerial movement ambiguous and knowing that if he lands too obviously, it could be death, but at 150, up here will do it. Austin will move on to winner's finals to face Jason. He was definitely fiending for that back air right there. Certainly would have done it, but uh, that was maybe the second or third time that he was just dancing around Austin's shield, uh, expecting Austin to just hold it, right? He's scaring him with his presence, but Austin did not fall for it this time. He's like, hey, you've done this a couple of times. I see what you try to do. Just comes up with the up air out of shield, takes exactly. the game. Yeah. So, good stuff to Austin. Let's just check out that great. Check it out. Eva! <laughs> Boom. That's pretty awesome. Man, I remember, I can still hear the sound bite from the, from the times that I played Brawl casually. I would just hear Ike yelling, Great Ether! And then the slaps of his sword back and forth. 